accepting three votes for vice president. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of vote of the state of Alaska that the teller has verified appears to be regular and foreign and authentic? Hearing none, this certificate from Arizona, the parliamentarians advise me, is the only certificate of vote that the state purports to be a return from the state, and that is annexed to a certificate from the authority of that state, purporting to appoint or ascertain electors. Mr. President. The certificate of the electoral vote of the state of Arizona seems to be regular in form and authentic, and it appears therefrom that Joseph R. Biden Jr. of the state of Delaware received 11 votes for president, and Kamala D. Harris of the state of California received 11 votes for vice president. Are there any objections to counting the certificate of vote of the state of Arizona that the teller has verified appears to be regular and foreign and authentic? Mr. Vice President, I call the Arizona from Arizona. What purpose does the gentleman from Arizona write? I write up for myself and 60 of my colleagues to object to the uh, counting of the electoral ballots from Arizona. Uh, is the objection in writing and signed by a senator? Yes, it is. signed by both a representative and a senator, complies with the law, Chapter 1 of Title 3 of the United States Code. The clerk will report the objection. Objection to the county of the electoral votes of the state of Arizona. We, a member of the House of Representatives and a United States Senator, object to the counting of the electoral votes of the state of Arizona on the ground that they were not, under all of the known circumstances, regularly given. Are there further objections to the certificates from the state of Arizona? The chair hears not. The two houses will withdraw from joint session. Each house will deliberate separately on a pending objection and report its decision back to the joint session. The Senate will now retire to its chamber. All right, so there you have it. Uh, the first objection, uh, they're going to be separated now. The senators will go back to the floor of the U.S. Senate. Uh, they will debate for two hours. Uh, they'll have a limited amount of speaking opportunities for all these various senators. John King, walk us through very quickly what's about to happen over the next two weeks. So the joint session has broken up. So now you have the Senate, 